tight on funding for the Cincinnati Hamilton County Public Library this coming November, and that's because the library is now seeking an increased tax levy for the next 10 years. It's a renewal of the 2013 levy, and the proposal would cost Hamilton County homeowners $43 per year for a $100,000 home. That's an $18 increase from what they were paying the library. Tell, and the library tells us the increasing popularity of its digital collection is a big reason, in fact, for the proposal. As WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan explains, the cost of e-books is challenging the library's traditional business model. Carrie Davis has been reading for as long as she can remember. Oh, I've been going to the library since I was a little kid. Now, the library comes to her. These are books that I uh, have recently borrowed. <laughs> There's some audiobooks that I probably would have never picked up just the actual book because they're so lengthy. It's easier, it's more accessible, you have um, a lot of options. Those options come at a price for the Cincinnati Hamilton County Public Library. Would people be surprised if they knew how much the library pays for an ebook? Yes. Take Holly, Stephen King's newest release. The paperback costs $17, but the ebook, $64.99, and the audiobook, $99. Why prices are so high is complicated. Publishers fear that if book access is so frictionless at the library, nobody might actually buy the book and that would hurt authors. Having higher prices limits the number of copies a library can buy and thus availability. Currently, if we were trying to get the ebook wait time about the same as you might accept for a print book, it'd be about $2 million additionally a year just at this rate. And while the library owns their paperbacks, they borrow the digital version. We license it for 24 months, and we have to repurchase it if we want those copies again. That's a major plot twist to the traditional library business model. And it's part of the reason why the library's board of trustees will ask voters for a renewal and 68% increase of its 2013 operational levy. They're incredibly popular, and we do not anticipate that slowing. Audiobook checkouts are up 20% every month so far this year. If you're going on a long trip, you would put on a funny podcast, okay, you could also put on Moby Dick. The increased price does have a payoff. If I'm going on a walk or something, I'll pop that in and I'm like, okay, well, let's go a little bit farther. Let's go a little bit farther because I want to get into the book. Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News. The November ballot levy is separate from the one in 2018, by the way, which is used for facility related items. This 10 year levy will be used for operations. We're told if you need assistance on how to get started with ebooks, by the way, library staff at any location or over the phone can certainly help you out.